I guess I, the way to th I think about it is that a model is a shortcut. You don't have to think about what to do from absolutely first principles. It'll say, well, here's what you should do. Project management, for instance. Well, you should do this, 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 and this. There are shortcuts. And so giving up the shortcut and having to design one from scratch, I think, is kind of intimidating. Mm -hmm. And if the model works, then use it. But I do think it does get seductive and you start convincing yourself, well, it's going to work next time or <laughs> it worked well enough or whatever. Or my last of, company it worked and not, not here. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And instead of saying, I'm going to put that model on probation. That's what I tell people. If they have a model, like just use it, but say in advance and preferably like write down what you think the outcomes are going to be because human beings have an infinite capacity for ex post rationalization you know you can literally be saying you know if we invest this 150 million dollars in this new factory we'll get our sales up by 50 percent in five years and then five years later your sales are up by 35 percent, and you say yeah exactly this has worked out exactly as we thought because you'll think of it as it must have been like 7% a year, not 10% a year. But if you write it down, put it in the drawer and say, I said 50, then you can ask yourself, what was the reason for that differential between the plus 50 and the plus 35? And you can actually learn something about it, maybe improve your model. If you don't write it down, you're probably going to convince yourself it was kind of worked out the way it did.